This video was brought to you by Alliance. It combines the best aspects of the top RPGs you've ever played. What I like most about this game is 10,000 different hero combinations that really puts your skills to the test. Meaning you have to work for your wins on this one compared to other mobile RPGs. It's got real-time PvP, crazy giant bosses, never-ending hero combinations, and massive guild battles finally on mobile. So what else do you need? Go down to the description, click on the link, download the game, and get your 50,000 gold and 50 gems for free. Welcome to another episode of 20 Things Wrong with Your Comments, where yes, comments like this will work. I will notice. Please don't fill up the comments section with boobs. This video was too short. I need lengthier stuff from you. Don't take that out of context. You mean, do you want these videos to be lengthier? Like, longer? Is in bigger than they were before? I mean, the only way that I can really think of doing that would be to just keep repeating stuff over and over and just rambling and going on and repeating myself and then some more repeating myself and maybe even some more repeating myself and... Will Melee still be the fourth best Smash Bros game if Smash Switch is released? Uh... Crap. I hadn't thought about how that would impact one of my running jokes. Um, can we all just hope that Smash Bros. for the Switch really sucks? Like, I don't know, maybe the Inklings are the only character. Them and Homer Simpson. You are the best man ever. Ha! You hear that, other men? I'm the best now. I'm the best. Kiss my testosterone-filled butt cheek! So, this comment about me maturing was on the Super Monkey Ball video where I did a bit where I was like, Oh, I'm not gonna make sex jokes about the word balls anymore. And it's just really ironic because now I'm looking back at how this year's progressed so far and, uh... My last video I literally commented on Spyro's little butthole, so, um... Doing great on the no sexualizing thing. Doing real great in that department. You know, I really like this comment, being amazed at the fact I've been doing this show for five years, as if I'm not the one that's the most amazed out of all of this. I mean, look at me. I digivolved from a scrawny nerd motherfucker to a bearded cat dad motherfucker. Josh is on fire and nobody's concerned. All right, that's actually a pretty cute callback to like the first joke in the first episode of this series, and also a pretty genuine compliment. So you know what? Gold sticker for you. You get a gold sticker, Mark. All right, before we get into the next few comments, I, I just need to say we're getting into the responses to my video on Kingdom Hearts part of the episode. Um, so this is the part where if I knew how to use Adobe After Effects, I would just put a lot of fire on screen. Maybe a garbage bin in the background, but I don't really know how to do that. So just picture that in your head as we continue on. Just visualize it. Okay, let's go. Which is more complicated? Kingdom Hearts plot or Josh's old upload schedule? Okay, look. Just because I don't have a heart, I have anime boy hair, and I also hang out with anthropomorphic ducks does not mean that I am a Kingdom Heart! But also my upload schedule was way more complicated. Way more complicated. What if the sword really is a key and when you stab someone with it, it unlocks their death? Okay, buddy. Either you're really high, or you're on the Kingdom Hearts development team. And also really high. Oh my god, he uploaded. Again? Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I gotta do that, you know, to eat and make rent and pay off all the hitmen that are constantly trying to kill me for making fun of Sonic. Can't wait until 2023 when he'll make the next episode of the series. All right, so this was on the latest Wind Waker episode. And yes, look, it says it was a month ago. It's been a month at least since that video, but I swear the finale's coming soon. I promise. It might even be out right now. I mean, not actually, but hopefully soon. Maybe if you watch this in the future, it'll be out. What you gonna do then, shiny boy? All right, look, I'm not trying to say that I'm gonna be biased here. But you got a way higher chance of getting into one of these videos if you compliment my cat. Cat and boobs. Those are, yeah, cat and boobs. 
I love cats and boobs. Which is more confusing, the Pokemon creation myth or Josh's sexuality? Look, last I checked, my sexuality doesn't have an entire alternate timeline just to take into account some remakes for the Nintendo DS. Or does it? You've insulted grass types for the last time, Josh. Have I? Have I really? Have I really insulted this cabbage looking son of a bitch for the last time? I don't think so. You know, it's moments like this, getting recognized by one of your idols. It makes being a YouTuber all worth it. Do you think Josh is into Sonic porn? Okay, look, I know my entire gimmick by this point is, oh, hey, I want to put my penis in that video game character, but even I have standards. Okay, so now I'm getting into the Fortnite comments part of the video. So visualize that same trash fire that I told you to imagine during the Kingdom Hearts part and just like throw some gasoline on that. Just throw some gasoline all over that. Gasoline and a few 12 year olds. Okay, I know this person was joking whenever they made this comment, but this was also literally my thought process. Also, I don't really know any background music other than Nintendo soundtracks, so uh, win-win? You've been uploading a lot recently. Do you need us to call a doctor? Blink twice if they're holding you hostage. Okay, at first I was going to try to put subliminal messages into this video so that you guys would know that I desperately need a rescue mission right about now, but honestly, this whole being kidnapped and forced to make videos at gunpoint thing, really doing wonders for my productivity. The YouTube algorithm loves it. Yep. Being a YouTuber is totally worth it. And just to wrap things up here, this person wants 64 things wrong with the comments. You're telling me that you want me to put even more effort into these videos where I basically just have a captured PNG of whatever the comment was, just kind of floating in front of my generic background and commentating on it. You want me to put more effort into that? You want me to like triple the amount of things that I comment on? That would be so much work. That would be like, an hour extra work. That's so much. Do you know what I could do with that time? I could pet my cat. I could touch some boobs. I told you, they're my favorite things. So, um, yeah, if, you, if you're wondering why this isn't a full 64 things, um, blame cats, blame boobs, but above all else, Blame the government. Hey there, if you enjoyed this video, why not hit the like button? Why not hit the subscribe button? Also, click that little bell next to the subscribe button, you know, so it actually subscribes. And check out some of the videos on screen. Also, down in the description, we got links to the social media. We got links to the Twitch where I live stream, do all that fun stuff. And there's, yeah, there's merch.